Today we are gonna do a look inspired by 4 Minutes Crazy. I will be Gian a 4 Minute. This is a collaboration video with other Filipina beauty YouTubers, so please check their videos too. If you like this video, don't forget to click the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, feel free to write it down below in the comment box. And if you want to see more makeup videos and more from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. <laughs> I'm sweaty. So if I'm kind of sweaty, I just finished um, dancing <laughs> to the music video, if that's considered as a dance. If you want to see how it transformed from Shanapi to Jian, then keep on watching this video. I moisturize my face before putting my base makeup. Then I use Etude House BB Cream Cotton Fit for that medium matte coverage. Because it has a matte finish, it dries faster than a usual BB cream, so try to blend quickly when using it. Build up the layers on areas where you want more coverage. Try to find a shade lighter than your skin tone because in K-pop, the lighter, the better. Set your face with powder. Here, I'm using FS Two-Way Cake and Silk for my highlight areas and a darker shade Chino for the rest of my face. You can work with this product by dry and wet application. For me, it's beautiful as a matte powder, but also looks fresh and dewy after sitting on my face for several hours, blending with my facial oils and sweat. Next, I'm doing my contour, focusing on the Cavetta D-Line in the K-pop world. Bringing the same color on my hairline and lightly sweeping that under my cheekbones. Okay, time for the brows. Straight, slightly boxy, and upwards. That's the signature K-pop eyebrow look that we are trying to achieve. Fill in your brows with thin, light strokes and tint your brow hairs after. Thicker and straighter eyebrows make you look more youthful. It's the easiest way to cheat your age. Gone are the days of making two heavy vertical lines on the nose. Contour your nose as soft and natural as possible. Rhinoplasty check! Prime your eyelids, then we're gonna play with golden and bronzy colors. Using a creamy brown eye pencil, line your eyes as close to the lash line. No need to make a perfect line because we're just gonna smudge and blend it. Grab a matte powder that's closest to your skin tone for your overall lid color. Then pick up a golden pigment and put that on the outer and inner third of your eye. Blend the color upwards and lightly sweep that on your crease line. Use the pigments left on the brush for your lower lash line. With a finer applicator brush, get the dark bronze color and put that on your outer V. Continue building up the color until you get a sharper tail end. Then put the same color on the inner corner. Blend as you wish and then we are gonna intensify the eye color with this black eye shadow. I aligned my eye with it for a smudgy look and further intensified my outer V and crease area. Continue to build up the color and blend. And once you're happy with that, pick up a champagne bronze and dab that on your central lid for a nice contrast and to make your eyes pop more. Further smudge and smoke out your outer lid and put on some nice falsies. Now we're done with the eye makeup, it's time for a break. Now this step is optional, but if you're hungry, go ahead and eat. <laughs> Yum! Break time is over, let's go to the blush. I use this old rose blush with fine glitters to make my cheeks glow with a light sheen. Then, I mix rose pink and red orange for my lip color. No Korean gradient lip this time, they actually rock bold lips in the music video. Blot the lips with tissue paper and we're done with this look. Mwah. I hope you learned something and you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.